Let's take a look at Francois Stein, a springbok who could play basically most places, centre, fullback, winger, etc. Enjoy the video. Let's go. Uh, set up there with lots of young players coming through. Oh, look at that. It's a drop goal attempt. That's not just a drop goal attempt. That was a monster of a kick. Jesus, that was a... It's absolutely massive. Look at that. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. He's... Where did that come from? He... The commentator is almost in shock himself. It was like... It's almost like it didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, it did happen. And it's and it's the, sure, uh, it's the sheer surprise of what he just did and how casually he did it. That is insane. He's hit that from 60. And that could, is remarkable. Let, he could have, that could have gone over another look, 30 metres. That's 60. Bang. Oh my good gracious me. That is absolutely astonishing. The commentator, <laughs> the commentator almost sounds like me when I'm doing these re reactions and I see something amazing and I'm almost lost for words. And you're trying to think of these different superlatives and you just can't get anything out. And and that is <laughs> just like me. Oh, sit down, my friend. Great steal. Very good steal. As Durant, the little flick pass on to Francois Stein. Oh, oh brilliant. Francois Stein. That's fast, that's fast. A little, little side steps, little shuffles. It wasn't really a proper... It, pro it wasn't like a proper drop the shoulder. It was, it was just a little shuffle. Not bad. Yeah, get his ankles. What a kick. 66 oh. metres, child's play. Two. Ball wide. Front stain for the line and stain scores. Oh, what a start! Just barging him. Looking at him, uh, the the thing on Andrew's um, video, the title is all round skill. Now, um, I see in it in a couple of hit the comments on the original video how he can play in all these different positions, which isn't I don't think is something you see very often. But actually, he looks like that type of player. He looks pretty tall. He looks fairly stocky, but not huge. Um, Pixie's come to join me. Um, and he does look like it's a, a player that can play in loads of different positions. Almost like if you relate it to football, a midfielder, a centre midfielder who can also play at right back and, and on the wing and, and as an attacking player. Um, a defensive player. He seems to fit that sort of category uh, with the shape of his body, at least from what I can see. Oh. Lower your body and just embrace the impact. Early South Africa. Don't let goes quickly. Oh! oh. That inception was a little bit different because he, he didn't run the full length of the pitch like most do, but I love an interception try. Love an interception try. They are the best looking tries. Every says thank you. Oh. Ooh. Poor guy. Uh oh. Interception try. I do enjoy them, as I said. This one's a bad picture quality. Is he going to kick it? He is. Look how relaxed. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. Oh. This is... So I've spoken about this um, in a few videos about how teams... I'm surprised more teams don't have a kicker that is confident at, at quite a far out range to, to actually score uh, score the kicks, um, the drop kicks. 
And obviously, I understand it's tricky. At some stage, I will try it myself. Um, but as I, I still am amazed. And I know people have explained it, but I'm still amazed how a team doesn't have that specialist who is capable of doing it, you know, nine times out of ten. Because the amount of times that um, a team kicks for territory and it just comes straight to you, you're 50, 50 yards out, 50 metres out, whatever, um, and there's that opportunity to score. He's clearly one of these people that can just, just... Receive the ball, let it fly. I'm so relaxed. Luguago feeding it back. There's Serpentine. On to Francois Stein. He's got plenty of support around him. Slice through the middle. Francois Stein. Steps. <laughs> you, see, you see the guy. Stein hardly was moving and the guy literally went to grab him and he... Did a bit of gymnastics or some uh, acrobatics there. Inside, how casually was that done? The accuracy for the yeah. three points that South Africa won. It's high and it's long and it's straight. He's clearly a very good kicker. It's interesting because he doesn't look... He's not the shortest guy. He, he's, he looks fairly tall. The way he's driving at players and, and driving for the, the try, he's not getting that low. He's not necessarily um, sidestepping a huge, great deal. Um, a little bit like Ches, Cheslin Kolbe, he really changes direction and, and, and can do an amazing uh, sidestep. Stain isn't necessarily got that. He's not moving but the players just can't seem to get hold of him and I can't work out why they can't seem to get hold of him the prayer Heinrich Presso the little chip over the top Francois Stein the bounce He's not, the step. he's not moving a massive amount and they just can't get him. I can't work it out. This is the one I cannot work out why he is able to get past them. I'm sure someone will tell me. to Fran Stein and Stein will jog it in. It's, it's, it's almost puzzling me how he's able to get past these players so easily. Oh, nice little 360. Oh. He doesn't even get that low. Here it is for January. John Smith, good pickup. And here goes Francois Stein, the debutant scores. Look, he, he doesn't get that low, his body's not that low. He doesn't sidestep to a huge distance. Oh, imagine scoring in that crowd. Oh, and it was on the Lions tour as well. And finish on a try, right in front of the goal. There we go, Francois Stein. I, uh, this is the first time I've looked at a player and I can't work out why he's as good as he is. Now, he's clearly really good. But like I said, the points I made, he's not necessarily getting low. Um, and ha He doesn't have a low centre of grab. Ignore the catch, he keeps trying to eat my finger. Um, he's, not, he's not got that low centre of gravity, it seems. So he's, it, the agility isn't the main thing. His kicking is amazing, clearly. That is a real strong point. The relaxed way he can do it. Um, I just can't work it this one out. But he's clearly a really good player. And I don't know why. And normally I'm pretty good at working out. If you watch all my other rugby videos on focusing on individual players, 
I've been able to roughly work out what's made them so good. Um, now, I've worked out the kick in, sort of. Well, I've seen he's really good, but I can't work out why he's so slippery almost. Please let me know if you've got any more feedback on why he's as good as he is. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.